Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to describe the redox reactions of group 2 elements. This includes the reactions with oxygen, water and dilute acids if you're following the OCR spec, and with oxygen, water and chlorine if you're following the Edexcel spec. Students following the AQA spec only need to know about the reaction with water. In this video, we're looking at how group 2 elements react with oxygen and with water. I'm showing you here the first five elements in group 2. As we saw in the last video, group 2 elements have two electrons in the outer S subshell. When group 2 elements react, they lose these outer two electrons to form the two positive metal ion, and I'm showing that here for magnesium. Because it's losing electrons, the group 2 metal is being oxidized. These two electrons can then be used to reduce another chemical. So in this case, the group 2 metal is acting as a reducing agent. Remember that the reactivity of the group 2 elements increases down the group. This is because moving down the group, the first and second ionization energies decrease. And this means that it requires less energy to lose the outer two electrons as we go down the group. I should point out that for the A-level specs, we only need to consider magnesium to barium. We're going to start by looking at the reaction with oxygen. I'm showing you here the reaction between magnesium and oxygen. If we heat magnesium in air, then the magnesium reacts with oxygen, producing a bright white light. Now, this is an example of a redox reaction, and we can show that by using oxidation numbers. I should just remind you that when we write oxidation numbers, we always write them for one atom, no matter how many atoms are present. And remember that elements have an oxidation number of zero. Before the reaction, both the magnesium and the oxygen have an oxidation number of zero as their elements. During the reaction, each magnesium atom is oxidized, losing two electrons. So the oxidation number of each magnesium changes from zero to plus two. Each oxygen atom is reduced, gaining two electrons. So the oxidation number of each oxygen changes from zero to minus two. Now a key idea you need to understand is that the changes in oxidation numbers must balance. The total change in oxidation number is plus 4 for the two magnesium atoms, and minus 4 for the two oxygen atoms. Okay, now we can also react group 2 elements with water. Magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water, but as we move down group 2, the elements react more rapidly. I'm showing you here the reaction between calcium and water. Reacting a group 2 metal with water produces the alkaline metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. At the start, the calcium has an oxidation number of zero as it's an element, and the hydrogens in the water each have an oxidation number of plus one. During the reaction, the calcium is oxidized, losing two electrons, and the oxidation number of the calcium changes to plus two in the calcium hydroxide. The two electrons are transferred onto two hydrogen atoms, forming the hydrogen gas. These two hydrogen atoms are reduced, and their oxidation number changes from plus one to zero. Now, if we look at the changes in oxidation number, we can see that they balance. One calcium atom changes from zero to plus two, and the two hydrogen atoms each change from plus one to zero. Now, you'll notice that we've only looked at two of the four hydrogen atoms in the reaction. So what about the two hydrogen atoms and the calcium hydroxide? Well, these two hydrogen atoms each have an oxidation number of plus one. So as you can see, the oxidation number of these two hydrogen atoms has not changed during the reaction. In the water, they had an oxidation number of plus one, and in the calcium hydroxide, they still have an oxidation number of plus one. In the next video, we look at the redox reactions of group two elements with dilute acids and with chlorine.